Okay, you guys, so I am actively in my hotel. I just came from the airport. Um, it's around 7.45. I got here, I believe, like around 7, so they gave us our keys. Um, and then I already, like, put everything away. Like, I put most of the clothes that I'm wearing um, actually to class. I already put them in the drawers, the bathroom. I'm going to give y'all, like, a whole tour and stuff. But I wanted to do two things at once, which is like catch in, catch up, and like check in while, you know, it's actually on my mind. And iron my clothes at the same time. So I already made the decision that with every day, I'm going to go ahead and iron my clothes so I can prepare for the next day. Um, I should have did these inside out first. Um, I don't have any starch but yeah so everything was great i got in like around five o'clock but or 5 30 but i missed the first bus because we weren't at the right terminal um they had a different one scheduled and it was just in a different location so we all had to wait for that one that one was about 30 minutes late because it was supposed to arrive at six o'clock so we didn't get here until like about seven o'clock um and yeah everything worked out so well literally right after i got off the plane i went ahead to, went to the restroom i met some people that's in my like class um well they were in the am class but at least like in my cohort and then i met two girls um and then i left them and i went ahead and got me some food and i'm so glad that i did i ended up going to jimmy's to get me a chicken panini uh which is a sandwich because I didn't know if the hotel was gonna have like um, a microwave. I seen one of the tours or one of the girls for training for my um, airline have it, but mine doesn't. I do have a mini refrigerator, so I'm grateful that I, you know, packed for just in case those moments um, with getting a sandwich. So you can't go wrong with that because it doesn't have to be like warmed up. Cause I'm not the type to eat like cold stuff. It's, if it's supposed to be hot, I'm just not. Um, and then I'm so glad I literally came in and I've been watching Chosen. I'm on season three. This is the episode that I've already seen. So while I've been unpacking, I've just been watching it and I just put it on mute while um, like I'm ironing. God has been so good. I was gonna come on here and talk about a scripture, but I think I'm just gonna wait for that tomorrow. Tomorrow is the first day, so exciting and you know people came in with like a lot of luggages and i'm going to tell you like what i think at the end because my sister has already done flight attendant training and she was like you shouldn't even be bringing that much but people brought like a lot of stuff and you have the option to go back home the literally only reason i didn't only have one suitcase was because i made the decision that i was going to stay in dallas until um I'm like going to my actual base and then I changed up my ranking literally last night. I've been having in my mind that uh, it was either Vegas or Denver and really I changed it to Denver but then literally after looking at some crash pads I changed my mind on my ranking so when I have to turn that in I'm going to definitely let y'all know and yeah but I didn't pack too much. I brought like five pants um for training and of course i have extra just in case something happens um like six or seven pairs of shirts um that i could do a rotation because with and then i have a blazer so just like combinations you know how they tell me to get like five suits or four or six suits and you can do different combinations that's kind of like what i did okay y'all i am editing right now and i'm noticing uh one thing that i wish i would have said so when it came down to the uniforms, I think that it really just depends on your airline because if you have an airline that, um, my sister had an airline where they told them that they could only wear certain colors and stuff like that. If you have that type of airline, then what I just said of like five pairs of pants, five shirts or six, seven, and just interchange them, that'll be perfect. But for me, as of like, I just wish I would have brought more of a variety because I literally bought some, I think four pairs of shirts off of Amazon. That was like the golf shirts with the collar, like very business. I had a um, a blazer and they came in like four different colors. Then I had like, I think 
two to three dress shirts other than that um and then i had light jeans dark jeans of course with no frays or rips or anything or tears um and then i had two pairs of slacks mind you that's cool and all but just depending because the airline that i was at people were able to wear like all these cute little outfits and stuff like that so i would recommend putting a little bit more variety than what i did because i wish i would have brought more outfits because even though like i went out to get my nails done um i went to a speakeasy um and that was pretty cool but i didn't really go out other than that but the the it, and i think we went out for tacos too once but this was like all in one day or two days so just the whole point of you might want to have more variety than what i gave myself um but if you have one of them airlines to where you're stuck in a certain color frame then that is perfect and you should but also know your personality because if you are which is very true you're gonna be so focused on training and what they're teaching you that you're really not gonna want to put much thought into what you're wearing honestly like i'm kind of glad that i didn't have that much so that way i wouldn't put so much thought into what i'm wearing and i have more time to actually study in the morning or put my thought process in like stuff like that in other places so to each his own just wanted to let you know that okay back to the video because <laughs> all of them are like neutral tones so i have gray pants black pants um some jeans because they said that we can have get on them um and then i got like maroon gray maroon um, maroon shirt gray shirt um pink um this turquoise color black and white in an undershirt because i do have um i have a tattoo and i just made sure everything that i brought for training I don't even have to worry about my tattoo showing because you can't dis di get disqualified automatically. They already told me that. Um, like you have to sign something saying that you know. So I just didn't even want to chance it. So I just brought undershirts and stuff like that for training. Also, let me do this inside out so that way, just in case if anything happens. Um. So yeah, you guys, I'm super excited. I feel very prepared we're not supposed to test the first day we get like our ipads and stuff like that tomorrow so i'm just gonna keep y'all updated and you know i'm feeling and i already set my alarm they have like this widgy alarm clock over there when i get the tour i'm gonna tell y'all all this uh but i just wanted to tell y'all um and yeah i feel like i'm not giving it justice by like not showing y'all the room but i'm gonna give y'all a room tour all tomorrow while I'm already situated because I already put everything like in the bathroom. I got a personalized like perfume for this and what I'm wearing to sleep. I'm gonna show you guys that. See, I got this set. I got this set, this like polka dot with these house shoes. Super cute, just something to get me enjoying. Like I'm an introvert. Um, I have met people, but it's hard for me to, to get out of my shell, you guys. I'm not going to lie. So, I'm not going to act like I'm like this. Da -da -da -da. Like, no, I'm like this, you know, in the comfort of my home. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep you guys updated. And then tomorrow, I'm going to come back on, give y'all a tour, and let y'all know how the first day went. And I am super excited. I'm just running over this because it's the inside of it. And I just want to be prepared. So, and I don't have that much time because our shuttle is at 515 in the morning. So I just want to make sure that I'm good, you know, like, and then I was like super anxious this morning. Like I even copped the attitude with my sister when she was asking me questions about packing and stuff like that. And I realized like whenever I get anxious and it's a big move, like I get like super irritated or annoyed which I've never caught that about myself before until like coming into my journey with Christ. Like I really did it make myself aware. And it's more so because I prayed for that discernment and understanding like, wow, okay, well, when you feel uncomfortable or out of control or something that's unknown happening, you get irritable. So it's just something that now I know, like even when I'm leaving for training, don't get upset at anybody. When I'm going to my base, be prepared you know, to that you will probably want to get an attitude. Other people cry. I get mad. It's part of the generational pattern in my family that I'm trying to break. So you can't break it unless you know about it and you're willing to change it. 
So yeah, I already have my colognes, my perfume set up. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what you just wanna see. So I love my room because I'm literally like in the cut. I'm not gonna show like where I'm at, but when you first walk in, you see the closet and then here is the bathroom area. I love that they have like this. I think this is considered LED light. So I have the LED light. I've already brought in my toiletries, like my traveling perfume. I have my other one in there too. Um, and then like my spritz, um, a water bottle, my lotion, facial uh, wash, a Listerine dove, a body scrub. And then this is a new deodorant that I'm gonna try now. My sister didn't like it. She tried it and she only used it once and was like, girl, you can have it. We're sisters, I don't care, I'm doing it. And so, yeah, I'm gonna try this. And, and then I have a Razor too. My sister bought me an Apple Watch. So tell me why I had one, but it was connected to my old one. Long story short, the iPhone was broken, so I wasn't able to get it. And she got me a whole new one for training. She's like super awesome, the best sister is ever. So yeah, and then this is the Vaseline oil that I like to put on. I got me a loofah. I usually only use like towels, but I just got a loofah on the safe side. Um, and then of course my toothpaste is in here. Everything is in there, my toothbrush. And then they came with like some stuff, but I don't really need it because I retwisted my hair before I came. So I'm all good to go. Um, even for the the rafting thing that we have to do at the end, it's like where you get in the pool and stuff like that. I'm ready for that too. Um, this is the stuff. So I got this cute, my sister picked this out for me, which is like um, a makeup headband. So I put this on in the morning. My makeup wipes, sorry y'all, <laughs> I'm forgetting that I'm recording. Makeup wipes, it also came with like this coffee making area and stuff, which is pretty dope and cool. Um, and then I also have a mug for my coffee. So if I do wanna make some coffee, which is so good. And then this is my makeup. Don't mind, yes, the, ba the bag is messed up, yes, but everything, especially for the first day because we're taking our ID bash pictures. So I wanna make sure that I look really cute. For my princess Tiana, my sister was like, bring something, nah, nah, nah. So I actually have that one and then the baby Yoda plush. And so I brought princess Tiana because I'm like, I'm almost there, you know? Okay, yeah, I'm whack. This is my stuff that I wear for sleep, you know, my body and my do-rag and then this is the little cute outfit that I got usually I was thinking of getting silk but I couldn't find any and I got this at TJ Maxx this was I think $14.99 yeah $14.99 and it has capris I was looking for shorts but these will do I'm just gonna make sure that it's cold and then here is for my dirty clothes and I also have some extra ones in the closet um the house shoes that I uh, bought at um TJ Maxx also I think these were like 10 bucks and this is the super cool gadget uh, of a alarm. So I already set the alarm for 4 a.m. And then I'm letting my iPod charge, my AirPods charge now because I'm going to need them for class. Um, and then I'm going to also charge my Apple Watch. So I don't even have to worry about that, which is nice. And okay, we're gonna come over to this section. So yeah, the TV's here, The Chosen is. If y'all haven't watched The Chosen, definitely check it out. You know, everybody has their thing about skin complaint, what this, that, that. It's really good um, about the story of Jesus. And so I actually tried this bloom out because I was looking at Chloe as means. And this is really, really good and gives me ear energy. I also have chlorophyll. I just have to find it in my bag. And then I love Alani. So I'm gonna have a Alani um, just in case. But I brought this water bottle. And then this is my tote that I'm gonna bring to class. I have my spiral um, pencil holder and everything. And then I already have my coffee mug. Um, and then this is what I'm wearing to class with my black flats. I'm going to wear my actual flight attendant shoes on the second day because that's when we're supposed to do it for like making sure we have the right things and we're in compliance. So I'm going to bring it in. And then I have my flashlight in here, a digital watch. I have this Apple watch on now, but we just wanted to make sure because this is more so for work when I do start. But when um, for like the actual training, I just brought a digital and then the low light that they asked me. And of course my passport is in there. And yeah, this is my panini. I still haven't eaten it yet, but I'm gonna eat it. And then of course, every morning I've been doing this, which really helps my 
day go by so amazing and just not allow me to be anxious because I'm an anxious person. And when I get anxious, I get angry and my day just, I don't like the way I act. So I read the Bible, I journal, and then I also have been reading The Invisible, which is super, super good. I definitely recommend this book. Um, and yeah, you guys, this is the drink. It's like a Dr. Pepper slash cream soda because they was out of cream soda in the middle of me getting it. So I just filled it up with the rest with Dr. Pepper. But yeah, so it is now 8.01. I'm about to go ahead, take my shower, decompress to do everything. And then I'm gonna get in the bed and I'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow and let y'all know how tomorrow goes. Bye y'all. <laughs> okay, hey y'all. So it has been officially two weeks here. Well, I'm going into my third week. The second week was hard as heck like we our first like just with all of the proficiencies and the tests i'm really not gonna go into depth because i don't know what i can and cannot say i'm sorry y'all i might be just showing too much uh i don't know what i can and cannot say but i did want to record it since i did start recording um but yeah i'm going into my third week this is when we do like ditching and stuff like that i've done my reading i think that i just want to tell people who's doing this process like read your fam i think that that's like super important for the first week i was pretty much lost because i was only doing the homework and i wasn't doing like the fam readings which made me kind of lost in class so i would advise anybody that's doing this to read the fam sections that they tell you to do in the modules Hopefully that's not gonna get me in trouble. I feel like that's like for any person in training. It's nothing like, ooh, da da da. Um, and just to stay focused. Like, I was able to go out with a few of the girls and I got my nails done. They're super pretty. I think this is like the best set that I've ever gotten. Um, but the rest of this time, I'm just like, of course, because the test was just so intense, studying for it was like y'all this is by far i have three degrees and going through this flight attendant training has definitely been the hardest thing i've ever done i would have never expected that this would be so hard but it definitely is it's just i think it's more so the pressure of you have to get 90 percent and above on the test on proficiencies you know retakes you can only get two retakes so it's just like an intense thing where you have to learn and everything is happening so fast so you have to like try to grasp it and i know absolutely nothing about aircrafts like i barely even know about car let alone an airplane so everything was just really really new um but yeah anybody can do it it just takes focus and hard work and studying but i'm about to go into my third week i'm really trying not to talk too much to people like how people kind of like group up and stuff i'm more so trying to i'm like i need to be doing my own thing and be focused because i really want to get my wings so two weeks down two more weeks to go i'm so glad like literally my stomach has been twisting and turning so this weekend has been amazing to just breathe because i had to take a retest for one of the things and i was studying the entire weekend for that this is our last weekend where we have two days um and then the rest is we only have one day off in the next like 10 to 12 days like 12 days we only get one day off so i'm just, just really like this is intense but i'm happy i feel prepared i've done the homework i watched the game today falcons play really good today Baltimore uh, Ravens did well. Their game was all right. It wasn't like, mm, I am can't wait for next week because uh, the Cowboys play on Fox. So that's going to be fun to watch. But I think that's it, y'all. I just finished eating me some Panda. I just wanted to give some little tips and notes because I definitely thought I was going to be vlogging more than I, I do. But this process and my company doesn't like you know too much information being shared i don't even think i'm going to show me doing my fitting because we get our fittings this week i'm like i don't know if i even want to show that um 
just like stuff like that because i'm not trying to put my job at risk so yeah but everything is good i'll let y'all know how it goes and make sure to study y'all film and bye y'all okay so i passed my last final we had uh two finals i passed my last one thank god it was literally because of jesus not because of me um and now i have my uh simulation so like for the plane and then i have my oe which is the operating experience on wednesday so wish me luck on this by the time y'all see it, it's gonna already be all done um on 20th now um it's gonna all be done um oh my sister calling me it's gonna all be doing by the time y'all see it i've cried tears of gratitude and gratefulness y'all i'm just so thankful i'm done with this this has been the most stressful thing i have ever done i've gotten degrees y'all and this is the most stressful thing the most thing that i've cried about it has tasted tested my faith tested my intelligence tested my ability to remember and just adapt and change and i've gotten so many rich friends so many people that are literally like me that it's ridiculous like i wouldn't have traded this in for the world i was going to do the air force and i'm so grateful, grateful that i did this instead like even if i do decide to do that if you know later on in life i'm grateful that i did this first um so yeah i was about to go to sleep but then they contacted me and said the stuff was downstairs and so yeah so now i'm about to try on my outfits i'm not showing myself in my uniform um i might put it like on my facebook for people that genuinely know me but like when it comes to my channel and just stuff like that like i just don't feel comfortable but just because of the policy and i really don't have time to be thinking about what i can and cannot say so i just rather just take out the company in general and then y'all just see my life without my stuff on but i still talk about my experience and stuff but it has definitely i wouldn't have traded it for the world it was definitely like a sorority type of experience when it comes to friendship when it comes to having hard times and relying on one another and getting out of your comfort zone and breaking you know your own certain patterns and generational patterns of how i've done things and breaking my ego and my pride like y'all this has tested me in so many different ways and i'm so grateful for every single way that um this company has changed me like I definitely know I'm going to stay here forever. Like, even if I go to another part and not be a flight attendant, I'm definitely staying with this company. Like, I absolutely love what they stand for. I love the people here. Like, it's just awesome. So, if you ever see me and you know, then you know. But I'm not going to just say it out. If you understand and you peep, then you just peep. Um, but, yeah, y'all. So, we had our first day with our uniforms even today because I had, like, a loner dress and i loved it my feet are hurting because of the shoes that i had but i ordered some new ones that's approved and it's also like it's draining like you don't get sleep like i definitely i more times than 10 i mean of course you can get eight hours but you go there's more days where you get like four you know what i'm saying like and you still got homework and you still got this like so i'm just appreciative so i will talk to you guys later i just wanted to catch up with you guys and then i'm gonna try to contact y'all back after my oe and let y'all know how that goes because i'm really nervous about that i'm just so grateful that i passed my last test y'all i got a 94. the first test i got a 93 this one i got a 94 and you have to score at least 90 and above and i'm just so grateful to god so my sister is calling me again uh i'll talk to y'all later i don't know if there's anything else that i have to say and i'll just wrap it up in my next clip bye y'all okay you guys uh i don't have time to act like i'm about to put my dress on but i did want to come on um i just put on my makeup i am doing my oe this morning i'm super excited super nervous i have three legs today i'm going from dallas to vegas vegas to houston houston back to dallas my shuttle time is at 7 a.m and uh i'm supposed to be back at the hotel by nine but i'm supposed to be done with my like sh shift or whatever at 8 30 
So hopefully everything goes well. Oh yeah, y'all looking at me. I haven't put on my lip gloss yet. Do not judge me. Um, y'all are just seeing, you know, cause I still, I've been drinking coffee. So I want to brush my teeth again before. And what else y'all, or at least do mouthwash or something. Um, I think that's it. I just wanted to come on and say, hey y'all, it's OE day. I got like five hours of sleep last night because I was the PM class. So we got out either around at mid, either at midnight, 1.30 or two o'clock. So like my body is just on midnight time. So I feel good though. Is I got way more sleep than I did yesterday. Yesterday I only got an hour of sleep. So progress, right? Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Let's just let's talk about this. Like, okay, Ershawn, you did well today. Make the eyebrows could be better, but like I absolutely love how this lippy looks. I have like the bra with the black tights on. It's definitely giving me like pinup girl vibes, like just the classy look. I absolutely love it. I've been gaining weight, you guys. My face is getting round. <laughs> I've been eating well. <laughs> I feel good. Um, I'm super excited about today though. Like my eyebrows are gonna kill me, but I'm super excited about today. I already have me and Alani, some chips, everything. Then I'm about to get me some fruit from downstairs. I just love the pin girl vibe. Like I have like 30 minutes before I have to be downstairs. So I'm feeling good. I'm looking damn good. And um, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. I brush my teeth again, mouthwash. Um, and I've been doing this new thing where I brush my teeth in the shower like at night and I really like that routine. Um, and yeah, you guys like, I just feel really pretty. My hair is growing. I feel healthy. Okay, this is like probably the best I felt since my breakup. Like these past couple months, like this month is like the month that I feel rejuvenated. Like I feel no sadness at all. Like I'm genuinely like getting happier and happier. Like the hard times feel like they're over. And I just want to document this feeling because it feels so daggum good. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Love Jesus, love Christ. He is my Lord and Savior because I don't know what I would have done. I'm so happy with my life right now. Bye, y'all. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I am coming back because I noticed I never... Okay, I'm showing too much boob. <laughs> okay, so I never noticed that I didn't close out the vlog. So my OE went amazing. I had those three legs that I told you. I just edited it. It was... Dallas to Vegas, Vegas to Houston, Houston back to Dallas. Y'all was so exhausted. I think the first one was three hours. The other one was two um, and some change. I think I had to sit because when you a flight attendant, you don't realize they don't say layover like when you're just sitting for like an hour or two. So I sat for like an hour. So I did a three hour trip. Then I sat for like two hours because my flight was delayed. And by that time, it was like 2 o'clock, mind you. I was up since like 5 o'clock, 5.30 because my shuttle was at 7. You know, you get yourself ready. So by that time, it's daggum near an 8-hour shift. <laughs> so it kind of clicked in my head on how flight attendant life can be. And I still had two legs left. And so I finished the middle one the middle one was the hardest to like just make sure i stayed up and but when you're doing service it helps to like be active um and what else oh the last leg i'm sorry i'm digging in my tooth and stuff oh uh, how rude am i um the last leg was super easy it wasn't a full flight um and it was an hour so it was super quick and i have a lot of that tomorrow so i'm gonna have a whole different video on my first uh, actual three-day trip because my OE was just one day of three trips so I can't wait to vlog everything and tell y'all all the stuff that I pack I'll probably because I didn't know that my thing ends at noon 
like my first day i have three legs but my first one is only three it's three hours but my second and my third leg is only an hour each so i'm done at noon which is perfect i literally have the best three-day setup god willing nothing gets delayed and then i could just show y'all how i packed and how my sister helped me and the things that y'all might need but let me just finish this training off i already told y'all all the juice about y'all it's stressful but you can do it just make sure you tell yourself that you can do it and don't like even if you have to do a retake on something don't tell yourself that you can't do it because you can do it um, because they want you to succeed so even if you make a mistake just keep on trying keep on going um the oe was good i was exhausted my feet were hurting but like literally i bought three to four pairs of flight attendant shoes the time but i'm gonna try do the amazon try on thing I recommend that because you literally get to figure out if you like the shoe or not. Literally, I did four times. No, wait, the ones I came with, I bought some, but they were the wrong size. I ended up trading them in for the right size. They hurt my foot, and then I finally got the right one. So I finished off with four pairs of shoes, but I was able to return three of them. I kept one because I forgot to refund it in time. So just make sure you get the Mary Janes. That's good for you. Clark is the recommended one see if that one gets to prove because most of the time it does um and i'm not gonna go into all the other stuff uh yeah i was just sore i was swollen but my like my feet and other people were swollen like my ankles y'all my right ankle has hurt the most throughout this time i don't know what why but it just has so just be on the lookout for body changes and it's okay for aches um and i think that's it i'm ending it off now y'all and then i will pick it back up on my first three-day trip so then after this then i will upload it and y'all will be able to see that let me know if there's any questions that y'all have if y'all have any questions oh child my i ain't done nothing i'm about to go to sleep because i gotta be on this bus at 4 a.m yeah because my check-in time is at five so I'm trying to make sure I'm there for that, but yeah, y'all, let me know if y'all have any questions. I'm excited about my next parent. Oh my God, my eyebrows. I was supposed to get my eyebrows done today, and I didn't, and I'm regretting every moment of it. I mean, not getting them done. Okay, but um, I'll talk to you guys later. Love, light, and kisses, and um, thank you, Jesus, for just allowing me to have this opportunity, and God bless you all. Bye, y'all.